Assalamu alaikum guys, hope you're doing well. I was just getting ready to stream on Twitch and getting ready for the gaming channel when I've been receiving loads of messages from our Bangladeshi brothers and sisters to look at what's going on in Bangladesh. So I thought, you know what? I think this comes first. So Modi has gone to Bangladesh and as always, where he goes, he always does something dopey. Mr. Dolan Trump. And today's dopey thing is his claim of having participated in Bangladesh's freedom struggle and even getting arrested. Bangladesh ki aajhadi ke liye sangarsh mein us sangarsh mein saamil hona mere jeevan ke bhi pehle aandolano mein se ek tha. Bangladesh ki aajhadi ke samarthan mein tab maine giriftari bhi di thi. I won't blame this guy if he soon claims that he participated in the Battle of Badr, World War II and the 1997 FIFA World Cup. <laughs> Even this idol he's worshipping in Bangladesh can't believe the nonsense that's coming out of his mouth. Bangladesh is celebrating its 50th anniversary and Modi has gatecrashed their special day, triggering protests. Demonstrators are protesting very passionately and have clashed with police. Now obviously protesting is a right of any people, but not in Bangladesh. The police have been ordered to use tear gas, rubber bullets and the disproportionate force has resulted in four people getting shot and hundreds injured. Bangladesh is a majority Muslim country, it's not easy for them to speak out but yet they are putting their security and their well-being on the line to do so. Why? Why do they hate Modi so much? Is it because of his RSS Nazi linked Hindu nationalist roots? No. Is it because of the revoking of Kashmir's special status and locking up hundreds of majority Muslims without trial? No. Is it his turning a blind eye to the marginalization of Muslims in the country by means of public beatings, mob violence and promoting Hindu extremism? No. Is it his offering citizenship to all other faiths other than Muslims? No. It's all of the above. Of course the news are trying to paint it as a minority, Al Jazeera included, but anyone who knows Indian politics knows the stench of fascism when they come across it. But why does the Bangladeshi government not care about all this? Well, they're not the only ones. The same reason that UAE, Bahrain and other countries don't meddle with India. Because of money. Here you can see Modi has quote unquote gifted 1.2 million Covid vaccine doses and 109 ambulances to buy their silence. Bangladesh has got this temple ready for Mr Modi and as you can see Modi is there worshipping a Hindu goddess called Kali. Just type in Kali in Wikipedia, this is the picture that comes up. Let's have a look here on the right, yeah let's, let, let's zoom in there. So someone's been beheaded, this uh, individual is holding the head and got their feet on a dead person. Alhamdulillah for Islam, that's all I can say and much love and respect to the Bangladeshis that are standing up for their brothers and sisters whilst other people want to but it's unfortunate that they can't because of the countries that they live in but at least here they're in the UK and America the educated class, the academics, they understand the trajectory that India is heading to and unless they change, they are in for a rough ride. Alright guys, I'll see you next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.